Hey, it's great to see sunshine across eastern Oklahoma for today. But the last couple of days, we've seen some healthy amounts of rainfall, especially south and east of the Tulsa area. Officially, we picked up seven tenths of an inch of rain here in Tulsa. You notice up to the north, Bartlesville, only about a quarter of an inch, 11 hundredths in Ponca City. But to the southeast, that's where we saw the heaviest rainfall, 1.12 inches down in Poto, an inch and a quarter over at Fort Smith, and over an inch of rain at Stigler, nearly an inch in McAllister. So once again, this is the driest part of the year for us here in eastern Oklahoma, and we are starting off well above average in terms of our rainfall so far for the beginning of 2019. As we take a look at Doppler out there is moving to the early afternoon hours. It is quiet. It's going to stay that way for the next several days. We're going to see plenty of sunshine. It's great to see the blue skies after such rainy, gloomy conditions over the last few days. Our Buffalo Run Casino Renaissance Hotel Cam. We're looking to the south southwest. We're looking at 169 moving southbound there as folks exit off onto 71st Street. 46 degrees right now here in the city and winds out of the west northwest at 14. So even though we're seeing some sunshine and Temperatures are slowly warming on up. That wind is making it feel a little bit colder than the actual temperature, so still a good jack. It's going to be needed right on through the afternoon hours, especially if you're in the shade, because it's going to feel colder than that because of that lack of sunshine. Area wide temperatures a little cooler to the east of us. 41 in Grove, 39 right now in Rogers, Arkansas. You notice most of eastern Oklahoma, though, in the mid to upper 40s. We're setting at 47 Bartlesville, 47 right now out in Creek County around Bristow and Kellyville. And temperatures area wide, you can see the coldest of the weather is to our north and to our northeast. So this is slowly shifting on off and it's being replaced by more mild temperatures out to the west. Temperatures already in the upper 40s to lower 50s. And over the next couple of days, we're going to see temperatures well above average today, right around average in the lower 50s tomorrow. And on Thursday, we're going to see temperatures some 15 to 20 degrees above average. And that's in, in advance of our next cold front that will move in. It's going to put an end to the mild weather by late in the week. So on future track, as we move through the afternoon hours, really not that much going on. We expect sunny skies, so not even tracking any type of cloud cover through the afternoon hours. You notice during the evening, we'll still see that northwest wind at about 10, occasionally 15 miles per hour during the evening. It'll drop off just a bit, but you notice out west, we're already starting to see south winds develop, and we will see the south winds start to move into our area overnight tonight. So temperatures are going to be cool tonight, but not terribly cold, and then we're going to see that big warm up starting tomorrow. Here's a look at highs today, generally in the upper 40s to lower 50s. The average high this time of year is at 52 degrees. We're going to be around 51, maybe 52, so pretty close to average for this time of the year. Then for tonight, we're going to see temperatures drop into the upper 20s and lower 30s. So yeah, it'll be cool for a brief period of time in the morning, but a big warm up on the way as we move on through the day tomorrow with plenty of wind out there out of the south at about 10 to 25 miles per hour. It's going to push our temperatures well above average. So after 33 in the morning, 66 tomorrow afternoon, it is going to be nice and mild, but we're going to have to deal with those strong south winds, 10 to 25, some gusts over 30. Only down to 46 for a Wednesday night, 70 on Thursday, a few spots even above 70 degrees as we move on through the day on Thursday for Valentine's Day gusty southwest wind late in the afternoon, early evening. The next cold front will move through and you notice what happens. We'll see temperatures much colder on Friday, a chance of a few cold showers. Right now the weekend just looks cold with temperatures in the lower 40s and then early next week, Aaron, well, it doesn't look much better. If you want warmer weather to stick around, looks like we're going to stay generally in the 30s for highs. So enjoy the next two or three days with the mild temperatures because mm -hmm. it looks like we go back into that typical wintertime pattern here over the next oh, five or six days after that. Okay, but I'm still holding on to what Punxsutawney Phil said. He early said spring. early spring. So early spring, yeah. Crossing my fingers. Hopefully that's the last of the cold and we get warmer weather from here on out after that 10-day planner. Okay. Hopefully. All right. Thanks, Dad. You got it.